Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected viewers. Peace be upon you. I stand in Karbala. I stand in the land of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. Peace be upon him. Say the Shuhada. Behind me is the holy shrine of Abi Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. Forward 800 meters is the holy maqam of Imam Sahab al Asri wa Zaman. I stand in Shara al Sidra. And today we're going to go on a journey. Today we're going to go visit the maqam of Ali al Azhar, Abdullah al Radi'ah. The six month year old infant, Imam al Hussein, Sayyid al Shuhada, peace be upon him. Let us go and visit this historical site of Abdullah al Radi so we can paint a picture of what happened here on the day of Ashura, on the day of the 10th of Muharram in Karbala. With me now. now we will enter these alleyways where Adi al Asghar peace be upon him is buried as you can see there are many old buildings around here this area is very old as we pass through these areas we will find the place where Ali al Asghar al Abdullah the six month year old infant was martyred in cold blood by al Har by Harmala alayhi al this area is very old it is said that originally it used to be a small window here for the Zawar to take blessings from, Tabarra. A window about 1 by 0 0.5 meters. Here we are now close to the cradle of Ali al Azgar. Salamullahi Ali. So here we are again at the maqam of Ali al Azgar, Abdullah Radi, the six month old infant of Yamil Hussein. As I said before, originally this area here used to be a small window, one by 0 0.5 meters. And as time came on, the Khuddam, the servants of the Abdullah al Hussein, peace be upon him, rehabilitated this place and made it bigger. They made the first window here, three by two meters. And as we saw at Ali al Akbar, there was a place where the Zawar go inside and they can pray their two units of prayer, their two rak'at, and send their greetings and salam. And as you can see now, now it's about a four meters by three meters area. And you see that there is a lot of stuff inside here that the Zawar themselves gifted to this place. Here you have the cradle of Ali al Azgar Abdullah al Radiyah. The Zawar come in millions and millions and they come and they push the Radiyah in order to take tabarrak and blessings from the Radiyah. This here, this area right here, is the location wherein Abdullah al Radiyah, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, was martyred in cold blood by Harman. Now I want my viewers with me to take, close their eyes, and we're going to go back to the year 60 AH after Hijrah, and we're going to go on the day of Ashura. Now pretend there is no structure here. Pretend the ground here is but cold sand and hot sun on the hot sun on the day of Ashura. My dear viewers, now I want you to rewind history. I want you to, talk, to go back 1400 years on the day of Ashura when the hot scorching sun's rays were on the land of Karbala. I want you to go back and pretend that there was no structure here. Pretend there was nobody around here and just close your eyes and imagine. Abi Abdullah al-Hussein, after all his companions passed away, after his brother of Allah al-Abbas passed away, Abi Abdullah al Hussein salam Allah entered the Khaimah, the Mukhayyim which is down there. He entered the Khaimah and his back was broken and he was walking in the fashion where his back was broken. Abi Abdullah alayhi salatu was salam, peace be upon him, started to say, Allah min nasirun yansurana, is there not one to come aid us in this tragedy? Abdullah al Radi' salam Allah alayhi. Abdullah al Radi heard the voice of his father, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. It is narrated by the Maqatil, it is narrated that Abdullah al Radi, peace be upon him, fell from his cradle on the ground and he began to cry. His mother, Rubab, came and picked him up. She went to Al Aqila Zainab. She went to Sayyidah Zainab and she told him that my chest has no more milk for me to feed my son. I need water and there's no water. 
take him to the qawm, take him to the ummah of Umar ibn Sa'ad alayhi al-la'na, so that they may give him water, at least there is no dhanib on this small child. Abi Abdullah al-Hussein took permission from the mother of Abdullah al -Radhi. Abi Abdullah, peace be upon him, entered the battlefield. It is narrated that Abi Abdullah, when he went to war, he would always ride his horse, Duljana. And it is narrated when he had a problem or had to give a sermon, he would go riding his camel. But at this point, Abi Abdullah wrapped with his abaya, his young Abdullah al -Radhi. And he entered the battlefield and he came to them. The Rawaya says, فَخَرَجَ الْإِمَامِ الْحُسَيْنِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ إِلَيْهُمْ وَكَانَ مِنْ عَادَتِهِ إِذَا خَرَجْ إِلَى الْحَرْ رَكَبَ ذُو الْجَنَاحِ وَإِذَا تَوَجَّهْ إِلَى الْخِطَابِ كَانَ يَرْكُبْ النَّاقَ وَلَكِنَّ فِي هَذِهِ في هذه الْمَرَّةِ خَرَجَ مَعَ إِبْنِهِ الرَّضِيعِ حامل حامل إِبْنِهِ الرَّضِيعِ Imam Hussain came out with his small son and he came out and then the enemies thought that the Imam came with the Quran to surrender to the Qawm. The hadith continues, and he says, فَصَاحَ أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنْ كَانَ ذَنْبٌ لِلْكِبَارِ فَمَا ذَنْبُ الصِّغَارِ Abi Abdullah, peace be upon him, in this location right here, he's holding his son like this. He's holding his son like this, and he tells him, if there is a ذنب, if there is a problem with us, the adults, then what is the then problem with these young ones? The hadith continues, it says, فَأَخْتَلَفَ الْقَوْمُ فِيهُمَا فَأَخْتَلَفَ الْقَوْمُ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَالْ لَا تَسْقُوهُ مِنَ الْمَاءِ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَالْ أَسْقُوهُ مِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَالْ لَا تَبْقُوا لِأَهْلِ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ بَاقِيًا It says that اختلف القوم The army of Umar al Sa'ad was in three different locations. One of them said, give him water. The other said, don't give him water. And the third says, make sure there's not a single one left of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. Umar ibn Sa'ad then told Harmala, he said, shoot an arrow towards, towards the Radiya and make sure there's not a single one left of the small children of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. Harmala said, Harmala himself narrates this, he tells Mukhtar, he tells him, this arrow that I shot hurt the most out of all of the arrows, a three pronged arrow that was poisonous. And Harmala said, as soon as a cloth lifted from the neck of Abdullah al Radiya, Harmala alayhi al-la'na shot the arrow towards the neck of Abi Abdullah. The child began to bleed. After he began to bleed, he thought he had some water and he began to shake. The Rawayah says, Kani rafraf kattayr. He thought, he began to shake as if, imagine when you come and you shoot an arrow at a bird, the bird becomes to shake. This happened to Abdullah al radiya Abi Abdullah al Hussein put his hand towards his son and he lifted it and he threw the blood in the air. Now what hurts the most is after the maqtal of Abdullah al radi after the maqtal of Abdullah al radi Harmal al laeen he says himself, he narrates, he went towards the Mukhayyim where Abdullah al radi Imam al Hussein alayhi salam made a small grave for him. al laeen Umar ibn Sa'ad told, that, told them, Al-La'een, Umar ibn Sa'ad said that I want the heads of all those that were killed in Karbala. So Harmala Al-La'een started pushing his spears in the ground. He started pushing his spears in the ground until he found that Abdullah al radi is here. He took out Abdullah al radi and he cut off the child's head. It is narrated in the books of Maqatil. It is narrated in the books of Maqatil that he took the head of Abdullah al radi and he placed it on a spear. But since his head was very small and tiny, it kept on falling off the spears. So they tied it with a rope, the head of Abdullah al And now to end the maqtal, the story goes to the heart of Umm al Rubab. Rubab came out on the day of Ashura, on the 11th night. She began looking for her son, Zainab. Sayyidah Zainab, peace be upon her, narrates. She says, I left. I left looking for Rabab. I could not find Rabab. I heard her saying, Ya Bunay, Ya Bunay, I finally have milk in my chest. I finally have milk in my chest. Where are you? This hurts the most because after the maqtal of Abi Abdullah al Hussein, the children and the sabaya were given water. And now finally, Rabab had some milk in her chest to give Abdullah al Radi. And this here, this is where this holy incident happened. This is where Abdullah al Radi had his bloodshed. In this area right here, Abdullah al Radi. 
You see, my dear brothers and sisters, these maqamat here, Ali al Azhar, and all the other holy maqamat, paint us a picture of Karbala. Each one is a puzzle. We will put together and paint us a picture of Karbala. Alhamdulillah, that the Khuddam here in this area took care of this place to this day.